Hi guys, welcome to Simplifying Tech and Programming. So in today's session, we are going to check uh, two easy ways to create new users in MySQL. And we can assign the particular privileges to that particular user. So generally in MySQL, there is a default standard user that is a root and a password is password. But uh, we can create uh, multiple users with uh, specific uh, authorization or specific uh, privileges. So there is a requirement to create the read only users who is having only DDL access or uh, any particular user who is having the DB access or any particular user who is having only performing the DML queries access. So for that like uh, we can uh, set privileges on that particular user. So let's see how we can create uh, users. So first way like uh, we can use the MySQL workbench. By using MySQL Workbench, we can create a new users. So open MySQL Workbench. Okay, so if, if you can see uh, MySQL Workbench, then there is a root users uh, is by default we are able to log in. So just double click, let's see. So we entered into MySQL by using a root user. So uh, you can go to this option called server and users and privileges. So go here. So currently we have uh, this much users are there. So first three are system users for, and uh, one uh, root user is a standard user. So what is its privileges? So you can go here administrative roles. So you can see for root uh, all uh, roles are like selected means it is a DBA user who can perform any SQL operation. Okay. So likewise we can create one more user and assign the roles as per our choice so go to add account and uh, say new user or mysql user okay so authentication type is standard give the host name matching is a local host or you can perform any uh, host let's say okay and like uh, we can uh, assign the roles so currently like uh, this this type of roles is available so grant access uh, dba manager then backup admin maintenance admin user admin so grant access to create role users so user admin can able to create users only okay so likewise we have maintenance admin who is having a reload and show databases so here like uh, if you want to create uh, the user which is, which is having only uh, read only access then go to customs so it's, i have selected as a custom and select the select query only okay event shutdown and select so this user has only select operations okay so we are creating one user uh, that is having custom role and uh, which is read only so let's say apply okay so my sql user is created so let's verify it so close this okay so create one profile here my sql connection okay my sql user and password store it in vault for now you can choose this and enter the password here let's say okay okay so here it is created in new profile so double click on this yeah so you entered into this user mysql user okay so let's verify this so go to servers users and privileges mysql user so now let's start like uh, exploring the tables so double click on this okay so you can able to execute the select command okay so our user is uh, read only so let's try uh, to verify its access so go to tables and uh, let's say create table like user so we are executing create table command so that should it will not allow because the user is read only so go to this and let's say apply so this is the create table command it will execute okay so you got the error so while applying sql scripts so it is saying create command denied to user mysql user localhost for table 
user that means uh, it, it will not allow write operations on this database okay so like this uh, we can create the user which is read only or you can uh, choose any privileges you want okay so you can create users in another way also like uh, by using a command line from the mysql so let's go to command line so type mysql and you can see mysql command line client okay so go here okay so by default it will give the root user so enter enter the password for root user so now uh, you can see like uh, i am inside this okay so mysql so we have certain commands uh, these commands you can find into video description so like uh, we have to execute this command create user and then username at localhost which is the host name identified by uh, specified password so just copy this and say enter so query okay means this is executed now just we want to add grant all privileges okay so for now like uh, we are granting all the privileges on this particular user a new user okay so this grant all privileges so query okay and just save this privileges okay so that's it so <coughs> so this user is created let's verify that so close this okay so create one more profile here in order to verify our uh, new user new underscore user copy this add here then password you have to add here password let's say okay 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 so our new user is created double click on this okay so our new user verified successfully let's verify its privileges so go to users and privileges and you can see here new user is created by command line so go to administrator roles so here you, uh, you can see this custom uh, roles has been assigned like maintenance admin process admin user admin which is created from command line okay so which ha which is having this global privileges so like this uh, we can create uh, users by multiple methods or multiple ways into mysql thanks a lot for watching